Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. Beautiful sunny day. Let me remind you folks, many of you are probably in the market to buy a new wood stove. Even as I'm speaking, you're probably looking and you're searching the internet for a good stove. And it's getting, it will be very shortly, winter time will be here and it'll be here really before you know it you're in the market to buy a new stove, or let's say you're probably looking for one, but beware of the high cost. You won't get one for last year's price. You're going to get an inflated price. And you might not even find one, if the truth is known, with shortages of everything that's beginning to kick in and that's just going to get worse according to what they tell us. So let me show you an alternative to buying one. Uh, yeah, there are ways you can take shortcuts and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Right in front of me here, now many of you will look at me and you'll say, this guy has lost it, has lost it, and it's crazy. Use your imagination. You better learn to survive and learn how to make things. If you haven't already started, you need to get started and this is a great time to do it. You hang around. Now, hang around and I'm gonna show you a shortcut that you can take to make a wood stove. Right in front of me here is an old tiny 100 pound propane tank. This thing, whether it be old or new, you can make one from a new one or an old one. This one, ju this one just happens to go back to the mid to late 50s, maybe early 60s, I'm not sure, but I would say probably the late 50s. The these things will last 100 years. This thing is 100 pound. And that sound reminds me that that's galvanized steel. I'm going to show you how you can take this thing and make a stove out of it. I'm talking about a wood burner. Cut a door here, a door there, and a place for your pipe up here to run out up through the top of your ceiling. And you've got a wood stove. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, pay careful attention. You might want to try it yourself. All right, now, folks, I have took... <clears throat> I've laid this down on the ground. I thought about putting it up on the table, but I think I'll just leave it on the ground. It's somewhat easier to do. The, let me give you, give you the dimensions of this thing. First of all, it is about 15 inches in diameter. That's about like the old-timey potbelly stoves. Uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. It's close to that size. Now this thing is about three and a half, it's a little over three and a half feet tall. So I'm going to take my level and I'm going to cut out a door. Uh, I want that door down here at the bottom. Now here's what I'm going to put right here. I'm going to put it about six inches above the fire floor that's the bottom I'm talking about where I'm pointing my finger here I'm going to put it about six inches above that you've got to have some room here for your firebox to fill up so I'm going to take my level And I am going to get it straight, like so. Take your level. Now I'm going to mark this over like this. Make sure you get that level. Just roll it over like I'm doing in order to get the perfect cut. I'm 
going to be doing this with a grinder. Now I've got the first one cut. I'm going to go and make, I'm going to make this door about, oh, I want to say just to make, take out the ashes. I'm going to make it about five inches wide. Let's go with six. Now let's get that straight again. Get your numbers right. Now, there we are for the first cut. Now up here, I'm going to move up because that's just, this is where you're going to be adding your wood. I'm going to put this about eight inches above that.
Folks, I have just finished rounding this top off with this. And you want a real good fit on this, because let me show you. Let me give you a close-up view here, if I may. Right here, your collar has got a nice round edge on it. Now that is going to fit secure right up on that right there. And I've got the hole cut precisely the size it needs to be. So let me show you. Now, just fits in like this. Very tight. Now I'm ready for my stove pipe to run up to the top. So let's take that off. It's off. Now, my next step. Right now, folks, I am showing you the finished product. In a very short time, we are going to strike a match, and we're going to put a fire in this thing. But let me show you this. 
I put latches on this thing, see? I put some door openings. That's kind of nasty on the inside, and of course it will get a whole lot more nastier, if you will. Just close that door back. Little latch. Same down here. See? latches and you have got a stove you have got a stove made out of a big old propane tank so we're going to put a fire in this thing all right now folks our homemade stove is completed and as you can see here, we're starting our first fire in this unit. And you can see the smoke coming out the top. So we're going to get a good rolling fire going. And show you that if you've got an imagination and a couple of power tools and a nice propane tank, you can build yourself a wood stove. Now this stove, I am going to put it in this workshop because I don't have a thousand bucks or more to buy one. And you know what it cost me to build this one? About $3 for these hinges that go on the doors, these latches and these hinges, about three bucks. I got them at the flea market for about three bucks. And that's how much it cost me to build this stove. Now it might be possible for you to find one now. It, it's getting late in the season. It's almost time for the snow to start flying. Well, to be honest with you, you might have trouble finding a good stove, but why not just build it yourself? You can see that mine is working. Let me open you the door and show you the smoke. Look, the flame is shooting out. Now this up here, of course, is a number six pipe. And I made that for that purpose because if I'd have got it any smaller than a number six, it wouldn't have held the smoke. It wouldn't have, it would have, actually probably wouldn't have been able to carry all of the smoke. So I built it with a number six pipe and I'm putting it right here in my workshop. Now, this is burning. I'm gonna fill it on up. Let me get out of the way so you can see this. This old tank, like I said earlier, will probably last a hundred years. More than likely it will because it's already probably 50 or 60 years old. Now, I've got that wood and it'll just get hotter. Move it around a little bit. Look at that, pretty awesome. Not bad for a $3 stove, is it? Not bad. Look at that smoke. Let me open it back up so it'll catch up. If I shut it off, it's gonna go out. Okay. Now, folks, this is a final, final close-up shot that you will be seeing of this stove. As you can see, let me open the door here. Take a look. Take a look at that. That's the firebox. 
Now up here to the top is where you will, right here is where you'll be able to load your firewood in this. It's burning all of that old, old, nasty paint off of it. So there's a good chance that I will be scraping all of that stuff off. And of course, I will probably put a brand new coat of paint on it. But that really looks great. It's throwing out a ton of heat. Let me close this door back. Now you can adjust it. Now you can hear it like that. That really gives it a good draft. I mean, it pulls really, really hard. And I'm talking about it is sucking that air in the bottom of that. And I can use just regular firewood in it. So it's made from a propane tank. Now I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna say, listen, if I can do this, you can. The only thing you need is a couple of tools and your imagination. And of course you need a propane tank. I'm gonna use it in my workshop. I would safely say that it's okay to use wherever you wanna use it, as long as you maintain good wood burning rules. It works that well. So listen, thanks for watching our videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed immensely to bring it to you. So you have a blessed day.